Hey guys, Joey here. Um, this week's reads going to be interesting. We're going to focus on the single life. We're going to be focusing on the funner th type of mood with these reads. It's going to be for those of you loosely connected. Now, a lot of you ask, how do you find the sign that's going to resonate with you, right, when you're looking at these videos? So I am going to be throwing in the astrology charts this week for you. And um, what we do with that is... Um, if you're a nighttime baby, um, you might resonate more with your moon sign. If you're a daytime baby, you might resonate more with your sun sign. Of course, your rising sign is going to be the best. And if you don't know your moon, sun, or rising, you can always go to a website and look up your birth info. You put in your birthday, your birth time, and your birth city <clears throat> and place. And it'll give you a chart of basically of your birth and it should show you your rising sun and moon and then it'll show all the rest of your planets and other houses and then you can little by little just kind of figure out what's going on in your chart on your own that way you don't have to pay an astrologer like me to look at your birth chart um, but at the same time there's things that I've learned from my teachers my gurus and uh, you know that's the difference of when you buy a wreath and when you look online and you click and it tells you what your mercury is doing uh, you know uh, there's a lot of things that scare people too with astrology so be careful it shouldn't scare you there's always going to be a bad placement there's always going to be a good placement do i talk about the bad things on youtube no i don't because um um i don't want that following me and i know there's a lot of people watching this video suffering with anxiety depression that type stuff and for me to trigger that and it may not even be accurate according to your chart and how you have your planets you know that's not the type of uh, fear tarot that I'm trying to put into you guys although I try to deliver as honest as possible the messages I don't really talk about the negatives as much because a lot of you may have placements that kind of void out things right or that you guys might have placements that actually accentuate things right and that can be a tough thing so um so yeah this week we will be focusing a little bit on the singles and those of you that aren't connected i'm sorry relationship folks i'll get you guys next week and um or you can look back at the last videos from last week they were uh, love centric relationship type stuff uh this is a lot different uh i want up vibe i want uh <laughs> maybe not so happy but uh i think you guys get the the drift of where i'm going with this uh we're gonna be using the mystical manga tarot by the way this is one of my favorite decks uh because i'm in japan and so it, the anime art kind of resonates with me and um so yeah let's have a good time let's check out your tarot and um stick around we're going to be looking at the tarot with the astrology for you. Let's get started, Libra. Um, you know, and I keep forgetting to move the rising before I start your videos. So, I don't know what's going on with me. <laughs> I had Virgo in your rising. Now we got you in the rising here. Well, you got Mercury, the sun, and the moon in your seventh house on April 1st here. This is definitely no April's full ride. This is definitely shining the light and communicating with people as well not being afraid to communicate because the sun is going to be combusting that mercury there on the first so definitely use this time to communicate i keep saying that to all the signs so yeah you know but if it's definitely in the relationship matter so if it's new relationships if you're single right um dating i feel like it's going to get a little bit easier for you less tense with venus Moving out of the, the clutches of Saturn and Mars there in the fifth house for you. So this is definitely going to be, if it sucked this month, it's going to be a lot easier, easy breezy for you this month. <laughs> All right, Libra, let's see what's going on with you. Six of Wands. Wow, you're the first sign to actually pull a positive card for their general energy. That's not Queen of Swords or Three of Wands here. You pull the Six of Wands which is kind of like double intensifying the three of wands that everybody keeps getting in their general energy here. There's definitely a person here that may be showing up as a Leo. Um, Ten of coins, the three of cups, into the six of cups. I like how the three of cups moves into six of cups, similar to what I was saying about your general energy. 
Um, whoa, Libra. You could be dealing with a player that actually puts down the player Kane. <laughs> Libra, you're dealing with somebody here that... Uh, very attractive person here with King of Coins in the middle. Eight of Coins. They got their money together. Overall, very positive vibes from the read so far. I mean, this person isn't showing me anything negative other than that Three of Cups up there. But it kind of translates into that Six of Cups because it was funny because before I put this card down, I was talking about how all the other signs keep getting threes and you started off with a six here. There's definitely an energy of somebody here that, I mean, they were very wanted and now I feel like they they see you as the soulmate here. And let's look at Cancer in your chart, which that would be your... Uh, Ninth year. Sorry, ten. That'd be your ten. Uh, moon seven. You could be in a relationship with this person already by the time you're watching this video. Um, are they a cheater? No. You're you're one of the first signs that are pulling up positive vibes for their person. Hey, I see it how I see it. Judgment, Three of Wands. Well, there is the Three of Wands. And the Five of Swords. Hmm. You may have trust issues when it comes to this person. The Magician, Knight of Coins, the Moon. Um, you think while well, they're working, they may be like doing stuff behind your back. It, this is more of a you thing inside your mind here. Ace of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. You're moving forward with this, so um, if you're dealing with trust issues right now, um, I think it's like, I hate saying take time to meditate because the last thing I tell an anxious person or depressed person, especially if my read, is that you need to meditate. Meditation is not going to help you. But I think you need to reflect here and reflect on your victories, the victories that you want because there's something really good here for you really stable with this person on your mind. Let's see what they think about you. Page of coins, page of swords, and the five of coins. They're loyal, because when I see a bunch of pages here, they're loyal. They actually think you may leave them out in the cold. What you think about them? The hangman, the death, and the four of swords. Um, overall, you think this person's kind of eccentric? You think maybe they have some mental things they're going through as well. High Priestess Virgo got that in the same exact spot. Three of Coins with the Temperance. Um, actually, when you connect more to your spiritual side with this Temperance and Three of Coins and the High Priestess, um, when you connect to that spiritual side a little bit more, and I'm not talking about like meditating, it's like re reflect on what you want here. Oh, wow, look, you got something good here. Something somebody wants to build with you. And uh, it comes with temperance. And when I think of temperance, I think of Sag. And it's a communicating about trips, communicating about travel, travel in the dream world with this person. What's hiding from you is the Knight of Swords. Um, yeah, you need to take a little bit more action and push forward into uh, your new love situations that are manifesting for you, Libra. This is about putting a little bit more effort. Maybe there's a person here that they're used to people putting effort into them and you're putting a little less effort because you're afraid that you're going to get hurt. Um, I think it's about releasing the fear of getting hurt and actually putting effort into people here is how I'm picking this up. Just how I see it. I really like this High Priestess though. Um, Virgo got this and I labeled their video, or at least I know I'm going to label it, Spiritual Gangster. I think Libra, you're a spiritual gangster. She happens to be the box art for this tarot deck, by the way. Give you another look at that. I think, you know, we need to be spiritual gangsters here when we're in this tarot and astrology vibes. And we're in this world. Um, we really need to let go of situations or past situations to move forward into newer situations. Because whatever you're moving into, 
starting next month, it's very victorious for you. And it's looking like there's a person here that really wants to connect, but maybe they're a little fickle because you're showing up a little fickle as well. You know, some tarot card readers call this mirroring. Um, they're not, it's not mirroring. It's just that you're not putting in a little bit more effort into it. And if it's them not putting effort into you, um, maybe you need to do one last go here, like I said, and uh, try to put a little pressure on them, see what happens, you know? Um, a once famous tarot card reader said to me, that's not how spirit works. That's not how the universe works. It's about throwing meat at the wall and seeing if it sticks. So, you know, this week, throw meat at the wall, see if it sticks. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will. These cards look pretty positive for you overall. That's all I got for you, Libra. If you like that, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys again next week. Bye, Libra.